Hi guys, um, welcome back. It's me. Uh, if you didn't know who me is, it's Miriam. And, um, on this video I made, I made it a couple weeks ago, and I didn't add an introduction. It's just like, I just took pictures as I went because I made something. And also why I said it's me and didn't say like a channel name because I don't know if, like, because I'm going to make a new channel, but I don't know what I'm going to make the name yet. So... I just said that because when I post this, I'm going to end up already, I've probably already made the channel. Because I feel like I keep posting on Me Sweets, but it, I just post of me, I don't post of Eden. So, I feel like I should just make a separate channel because I don't, like, I don't think Eden wants videos of just me on there. So, yeah. I forgot. I just, like, cut the video and then I'm like, oh wait, I totally forgot. Um, please subscribe, hit that notification bell if you like getting notifications, and don't forget to hit the like button, really appreciate it, I have no subscribers yet, well, basically because I haven't really, I haven't added any videos, because this is like the first official video to my new channel that I haven't named yet. So, as I said already, I am turning my little sister's baby blanket into this super cute little mini skirt. Mine's pretty long, but yeah. And first step is to separate the two uh, pieces of fabric. These are my two that I have. I will be using the zigzag one and the other one. I'm just going to take a side and save it for a different project. Next, you are going to want to iron your fabric. Just to make it look nice and neat, all ironing steps are optional, but it makes everything look nicer, so I would definitely recommend that. Uh, here I am laying out my pattern pieces, and I will link the pattern down below, but I'm just uh, seeing where I'm going to put it. This is all my pattern pieces drawn out. Remember, those or also those little darts at the top, are the little V's at the top or for the darts. So remember to add those in. This is what my pattern, all my pieces look like after cut out. All these names are uh, so you know what, if I mention them later what they are. First step is to take your middle uh, piece and sew your two side pieces together. And then, this is what the seam sh should look like. I just folded... Oh, also, uh, make sure you leave 3 to 5 inches at the bottom for your little openings, which I think is really cute. Next, you want to pin down your darts and then sew them. You can make your darts bigger. Oh, sorry if the piano's in the background. But you can make your darts bigger or do a medium like me. Next, you're going to sew your two back pieces together and or sew your two back pieces to your front piece and then you will your thing your pattern all your skirt all together should look like this laid out flat. And then uh, the next step is um, to iron out all your stuff. Or not all of your seams. I think this, once again, ironing is optional, but I think everything lays nice and neat if it is ironed. Next, this iron part is actually not optional. I keep forgetting this, but this you have if you want, if you are making these little creases, then it is very important that you have like so. Uh, iron them down so you are able to sew down the edges. Mine's a little uneven, but that is okay because I still need to hem. The next step is to take your pattern piece or your waistbands and sew the right with the right sides kissing each other. These are your two smaller uh, waistbands and. So I yeah. accidentally forgot to take a picture of me sewing together my long waistband and my two short waistbands that were already together so basically all you're doing is aligning your two ones your two small pieces that you had already sewn together so that's basically just one 
piece now. So you're going to lay that flat with the right side sticking up and then take your other long waistband piece and lay it with the right side down. What, how I like to say it and also how I learned it is the two right sides kissing. But uh, let's get on to the next step. What you're basically doing for the last step is just the same thing you did for the two small pieces, except they're, you're just sewing the bigger pieces together, if that makes any sense. Okay, so now you're just going to want to sew your two uh, waistband pieces together. And now we just gotta wait. There we go. And then you're gonna take your waistband and your uh, skirt and pin the top piece and your skirt together. Make sure your right sides are kissing, like I always say. Then you're going to want to iron down. This part is actually pretty important. You still don't have to, but I would 100% recommend it. That's like, yeah. <laughs> and next you're going to want to hem the top part of your waistbands. Um, you can double fold this, it'll look way nicer and um, look more professional, but I didn't. Um, and then you're just going to want to sew down the top seam and make it as straight as you can. Mine isn't as straight as I would like it to be, but it's still pretty straight. Next, I didn't really put that, take that many pictures on this, but next you're going to want to uh, sew your zipper on. And um, if you want to learn how to sew a zipper on, go check out another video because I did not really sew, uh, show very much information. But anyways, next, uh, I did use an invisible zipper, but I didn't sew it close enough, so it's not invisible. But anyways, uh, next you're going to want to take your, the end pieces and sew them together. And it should look like this. Make sure your bottom, make sure the bottom of your zipper, the right edge, is not showing through the other side. Then you're going to want to iron that down again. It's optional, but it's definitely recommended. You're probably so annoyed with me saying that because I've said it a bajillion times. But yeah. And next, you're going to want to just cut the bottom edge even so you like how straight it is. And then you're just going to want to double fold. You can single fold but double fold will also make it look nicer and more professional. Guys, so this is a different day if you couldn't tell because I'm all ready unlike the last video I was a big piece of crap but um <laughs> anyways I hope you like this tutorial I hope it was informational like had enough information for you to be able to sew it this skirt it is an adorable skirt um oh my hair <laughs> I will, uh, I haven't put pictures on yet, but when you watch the video, there would already be pictures of the before and after. So, I hope you like this, uh, tutorial. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down so I know and comment what you didn't like about it and what I could do better next time so I can <laughs> make it better next time. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!